I, I, I remember this location and standing next to the water and just being like blown away by how beautiful the location was, knowing that we were 10 minutes away from downtown Vancouver. It was yeah. a gorgeous location. That's all I could think when gorgeous. I was watching it too. It was. Absolutely gorgeous. And the water was absolutely freezing. Um, the trick with these scenes, uh, which I learned early on, was you wear not a wetsuit. I mean, you can if, if you can't see it, but what they do is they cut off wetsuits. Like so you have wetsuit shorts and like a wet, yeah. wetsuit like vest under your clothes so your core stays warm. It's still frigid, but you don't get hypothermia. And um, because when you're giving someone CPR, they can't be shaking like that. I so, hated wearing those suits. I remember those wet suits, and then you have to put my. They had to put the suit, make the suit bigger, so to put it yeah. over me, and it looked. It felt like I was like, it probably look ridiculous, but it's really for the effect in the water, so no one really notices it. Yeah, I mean, like when you watch, I forget that Leonardo DiCaprio movie where he gets trapped in the water. The one with the, with the bear, Re Revenant, Revenant, whatever it's called. Still no means. He falls in the river, and all I could do was, I was trying to look for a wetsuit. Because I'm like, there's <laughs> no way this dude fell in the water without a wetsuit on in this suit. No way. I remember one of my friends, um, he was wearing sweatpants, and we went to this pool party. And he just pulled down his sweatpants, and he had his swimsuit on, and he just do dove in the water. I go, he had his sweatpants, and then he had his wet pants. <laughs> 